What if tomorrow never comes? There was a song, the uh, the country songs, a very famous katatayukan, familiar katatayu, mga cordilleras. There is a song, if tomorrow never comes. What if? What if tomorrow never comes? It's quite sabali di ako na tayo ng nagbiyak lang and you have fully enjoyed your life to its to its fullest. Honestly, some people pati pa nagbiyak da, pati pa nang kita da lang tibiyak da dito daga kat kapal pa iti animal kada giti animal kat makita da tirag sa kada. And much worse to life da because there is no more joy and there is no more sense to life at that point. Oh, I heard, I heard about a story. The most famous, the most nalatak nga nga tao kada na tinaga na kada ni Steve Jobs. Kada tayo di Pilipinas kada iti dagiti abuna iti computer. Mamuda isuna. Because he is the CEO, founder, the company, the Apple, and when it comes to fame, when it comes to popularity, when it comes to wealth, he has it all. He just died. It's manulang na palpalabas ng tawon, and throughout it, it's been a very sad story. The life, no, because he has everything that he dega, and yet. The most rewarding life, he said, that there is no real happiness that you daga. Ure no daka niya mama. It was a statement from a man. Nga papalong tayo dunga tao. Yet in his life, he said, his life is filled with loneliness. It's empty. And what wasted testimony and what a wasted life it is. Nga mga tayo di jay, nga testimonya, iti may isa, nga nalatak nga tao, a famous man, whose name is Steve Jobs. Are you fully enjoying iti life mo? O baka kaapal pa itaratan mo because pipiada pa ita may enjoy da iti panakayaywan at iti panangkartarakan ni tiya mo da? While you ngasika that it seems life is useless, life is empty, life is just like a tek tayo klaanan nga pilid nga awan kasilatan nga rutin. Awan malang karagsaragsak na. Oh, I am reminded of a man. A very old man. And he was also known as the wisest king in his own era, in his own time. It was said by King Solomon, Aslak and Steve Jobs, a very brilliant man, a very wise man. Yet, for almost half of his life, na living a life, enjoying it, it's a great success. It's a the pleasure, it's it's wealth, fame, popularity. Recognition and accomplishment, name it all. Ang yaman tayo pa palon tayo kung kaya tayo ng mapasama kung tibiyak tayo. He has it all. But there came a time kipa nagbiyak ng ije half iti life. Ng konani King Solomon ng it was the best kind of life. But lately, later on, iti last ng days, years iti life na he said. He wrote their book. He came to senses, nagpanunot iso na, nalukatan ti kapanunutan na. And all those nga kunata yung pag-alalaan, yung pag-apuan yung diragsak na. The position, the fame, the wealth, the popularity, and the recognition yung tinagalunga ta tao and the great accomplishment that he has. God opened his mind and senses that he came to realize that all is useless. All is useless, Titi Lubu. E pagkatapos mapangka di Ecclesiastes 12, he concluded that the real meaning of life is to fear God and to keep His commandments. 
here was the wisest king who ever lived, enjoying and having all the giti kaya na itibiyak. And yet, kung natayo, ito chimpo tinagbigan ng aribildi ti sangwana ni ti Diyos. At the end, iti pleasures tiragragsap ti lupo. He came to realize na hanganap na ti karawan. He made a statement. He made a legacy. A legacy, a book. God used this man to write a book of a man who got everything in this world and yet he found it as empty. In the book, it places this chapter 9. After presenting it in life of uselessness, chapter 1, chapter 2, and then chapter 8, Pagdano niti chapter 9, it is great concern na dating ari. He gave us an advice na giti anak na, kung na giti sumarsarun, kung na giti adipan na, on how and where can we really find real joy in life. And kung na ni, kung na ni, kung na ni Solomon, it is Ecclesiastes chapter 9, verse 9. He gave us an advice, nga dagos, and kung na na dito ay, live joyfully with a wife whom you love all the days of your vain life, which she has given you under the sun, all your days of vanity, for that is the portion of life, and in the labor which you perform under the sun. Kung na ni Solomon, real happiness in life, dito daga, I will give you an advice, is this, it is to spend your life joyfully with your family. Particularly to the wife, but I also know and I also understand that he was also referring to the whole family. When it comes to wives, but yet he came to realize that Solomon the word in the family that it is it is the best na kuna nga may kan iti may sanata he said wife and one of the problem that he has is he has many wives that brought him in trouble and he suti nang yadeo kanya na kanya abris kuna ni kuna ni Solomon your family is a blessing ito and sometimes we exchange iti family tayo, iti friends tayo. Let me tell you this. I have known a lot of people where they have spent all their lives iti friends da. And later iti life da. Iti panagkapsut da, panagsaksakit na iti life da. The friends are not there nga magitin man lang ikasapula ng mga tulong kanya. Iti sibi piyak pa lang, adu, iti apang narami doon, adu, iti iainom dita, harap dita. But at the edge and the earth, iti life doon. The only people that are left, ngamang linis kanya na, ngamang aywan kanya na, ngamang sukat tidaya pa na, are the very family that he has. And the point, the point here is this. Why do you waste all your time to many and stranger people na hanmat niya isuda itikadwam later on in life? I see a lot of young children complaining iti parents that because they have no more time with them. And would you think your children would take care of you if you have never shown them iti ayat? If they never felt iti panangaywan mo? Oh my friend, they won't later on. Agpipin na sa dang handa kang kat ngayon wanan because they never enjoyed iti presence mo iti biyag dan. The same thing is true iti children. Sometimes you complain iti parents. But I tell you, the very people na mabaling at tarayang tulad ta later on are your friends and your brothers and sisters whom you don't like later on. More than your friends get at a negative 
brothers and sisters mo who will be there nga makita kanya later on and tatatay lang you need to establish a good relationship with your family because they are the God-given people who will take care who will mind you later on in the late stages of your life whether you like it or not and that is a wise advice from the wisest king Solomon in everything that you do you verse 10 now whatever your hands find to do do it with your might for there is no work or device or knowledge or wisdom in the grave where you're going and I say do your best to know and to know and do everything that will profit you later later on in life do your best life is only short tomorrow we don't know if it would come and since tomorrow will not come, do your best today. No nyaman tinay sagan ng aramida. Don't you ever reserve your best for tomorrow because you don't know what would happen tomorrow. And great regrets. Kaysayan na po'y naramid niya. A lot of people, nagsaksakit pa ta, nagkakapsut ko po nalang. No'y naramid ko po madin, naramid ko po madin. Malalawag ka mamin because time and strength are, are not used wisely in each and put the kapan kwan wawa and a lot of regret nga mga nga kunanan no kumakas jay no kumakas jay but it's already late like it is studenti who have not done their best no kumanag iskwilak no kumakas jay and ako mahit ni mabaling nga kaste 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 but it's already late so nga kunan ni Solomon would you like to you would you like to end up your life and the best thing to do is to do your best in everything that you have today. Never give it to yung half-hearted lang. Make sure that this day will bring something for tomorrow. Nga may tip mo ti pinaka the best mo nga isagana na iti paragsap. I tell you. That's the best kind, that's one of the best advice from God, from the man of God. For when the time will come, hangkan nga mabaling agsubli dito yung daga, katituloy mo daga kat mga ramidan, nalpaso, nadumtang tichimpo, nga nalpas ni biyag dito yung daga. Or dumtang tichimpo, nga nakapsot kamutan dito yung daga. So my friend, that's the second thing. That in everything that you will have today, give it your best. And don't you ever, ever reserve your best to your family and to your work and to your study because you don't know if tomorrow never comes. And lastly, it declares this chapter 12, after presenting the Gijai, he concluded the book with a beautiful, with a beautiful advice, Konani Solomon, it 12, verse 13 in Ganati 14, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. But the real meaning of life, and before I'm going to end writing a book, I will tell you the very key. Fear God and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of God. To fear God and keep His commandments. To fear God and keep His commandments. That is to worship Him. To have a real may kanta iti putput nung kapapanan iti biyag kat it always starts to fear. But this kind of fear nga writing a worship kat it is a fear nga kunatayo that comes from a man nga naisaw. A man who doesn't love the Lord doesn't have this kind of healthy worshiping and surrendering fear. Isong ati panunod ni Solomon dito when he was saying let us hear the whole conclusion, fear him, hang at tig-tigur-gur, tigat ng sarwan, kahit ng sarwan, kat it is to have him in your life first. Make sure that you are in him. Make sure that you are in him. And make sure, nga hang ka lang adakan niya na, make sure that you are faithfully following his words. That's the source of life. That's the source of real happiness. Kan kapapanan niya. In all his life, in the younger days, the Solomon, he spent his life nga mayati pa nag-start na. But later on in life na, 
As he started, nga, the Lord has been blessing him. Very came a time, nga, halos, nagatidug, halos half iti life na. Kat na spend iti life, ti backsliding. And he said in the book of Ecclesiastes, Vanity, useless, ubaw, as lang ay nga, bagas nga, angin lang kargana. Kung naman na dati kargana, awan game kargana, awan si Serpina. That is a kind of life. Kung na tayo nga, awan iti Diyos. Hangag pa pa ito ay iti Diyos. Nagpipintas na gano'y balun. Very attractive na gano'y ubing. It is catchy, iti matada. Kas lang nga dati kargana, kas lang nga mapsuka. It attracts and it catches the attention na gano'y ubing. Nukit kita ang tayo na gano'y nga, na gano'y nga balunis. Iti unod na awan ti kargan. Hangkam at nga mapsuk. There are many things that ilubong are very attractive, but inside the gituy, when you are already there, you think not exact, but later on in the end, it is not satisfying deep within. You are still looking for something that is better and greater than that. And you know what? The world can never take that place of God. Iti puso iti tao. So ako na ni Blaise Pascal, Itinunag iti pa, puso iti tao, there is a spacious vacuum na it is only the Lord can fulfill, can fill the Jenga space. Without God, uray no da kanyang ditilubong, just like ni Steve Jobs, just like Alexander the Great, they felt empty in their dying days. Why? Because of one man. Oh, my friend. Those are the advice of how we are to spend our life wisely. To enjoy our time with our family, to do our best in everything that we do, and lastly, to make sure that we are in Him and we are walking in Him. God bless my brother, and may you have a blessed, godly day.